The City of Windhoek's communications manager, Harold Akwenye, says the public suggestions will be looked at once the new council is elected and that it will be a steady process. We are going to go out on a survey as to see what the public feels, who should be erected there, or what type of statue. Is it going to be some art? Is it going to be a political figure? The statue has been relocated to the city of Windhoek's museum. You can please everybody also. There's those that were against it, there's, there's those that were for, for it, mm -hmm. but uh, those that were for it who wanted the, uh, st the statue removed, okay. actually outweighed those, those that were that, a, uh, against, against it. The removal of it. Has the removal of the statue lessened the pain of the Namibian people? To rewrite the, the imbalance, yes. they want to correct the history. Remember that uh, we, if I have to go into retrospect, we received our skulls from our ancestors from Germany. That's rewriting the history. The Berlin Wall for Thiel, that's also rewriting the history. So we just want to do the right thing for our kids to know that what was the right history within Venduk with that specific statue. So yes, uh, he wasn't the founder of Venduk. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it will lessen the heartache. And I wouldn't also want to talk about Hanskrans because there is a lot of in, uh, history written about that in the uh, National Museum. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's also for the government to talk about that. But for us, it's all about you know rectifying the history, telling the truth, telling uh, telling the Namibian history as part of the history of the colonial era. She added that decolonizing and restitution is a global agenda being discussed worldwide and that the city of Windhoek is not the first to uncover such events. Pashatura said the city is responsible for heritage and heritage management to interrogate the current status and management of similar statues within its jurisdiction. Selma Placides, NBC News, Windhoek.